Inside Moorhead State Basketball is brought to you by Fazoli's of Moorhead, fast, fresh, Italian. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. St. Clair Regional Medical Center, amazing medicine close to home. Larry Fannin, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC, doing business with a handshake and a promise. Kentucky Bank, call it home. Eagle Finance, loans made easy, payments made affordable. Big Four Lumber, Ace Hardware, the helpful place. The Citizens Bank, the home of totally free check-in. Reno's Roadhouse, go wild, go west, go Reno's. Moorhead Tourism Commission, escape the normal. Eagle Trace Golf Course, the home course of the MSU Eagles. First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience. Holbrook's Embroidery, your clearly Kentucky headquarters. Better Life Church, helping people follow Jesus. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength in our community. Tim Short Auto Group, take the short drive to satisfaction. Jack Rowe Insurance, serving all your insurance needs. Pasquale's and Bakery on Main, treat yourself well. Richard White Wood Products, a premier exporter of Kentucky hardwoods worldwide. Stand for Builders Paving in West Liberty. Quality work at affordable prices, that's how we roll. And by New Frontier Outfitters, we are made for your journey. Hi everyone and welcome in to this edition of Inside Moorhead State Basketball from the campus of Moorhead State University and today the Academic Athletic Center just outside the men's basketball offices as always alongside the head basketball coach of the Eagles, Preston Spradlin. I'm your host David Patrick and Preston, we can breathe a sigh of relief now. Finals week is over, the, the, the grades are in, the guys did great in the classroom, and, and it takes a lot of pressure off. Talk about that. It does. You know, uh, it's important that we, that we talked about last week, finishing finals strong, the, uh, the importance of the basketball side of it, the academic side. And so thankfully, you know, our guys did a great job throughout the semester, 16 weeks. They finished strong in finals. And uh, the end result was, you know, everyone's eligible. Everyone has lots of progress towards their degrees, and uh, our grades were were, were, you know, not, I don't want to say surprisingly good, but, you know, we were very pleased with them. And I had a few guys that may have been worried about one uh, that could go either way, and uh, I, and they ended up coming out on the good side. No one was in any danger of failing anything, but I will say that because that's a testament to how hard our kids work, and uh, I think our faculty, they realize that, that when we're on the road, we're playing these games, our guys are traveling. You might get back at 2, 3 a.m. with an 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock class, and those are not excused. Our guys go, and they put forth the effort and the uh, initiative to do what they're supposed to do and that stuff pays off as the, the semester winds down and so we're thankful for that and we're thankful for a strong finish academically. Stay with us when we come back highlights of Moorhead State's win over Kentucky Christian University here at LST Johnson Arena. That's next on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. After having gastric sleeve, I immediately saw results. Before the surgery, I had lost 25 pounds, and after the surgery, I lost 105 within nine months. As soon as I met Dr. Lynch, I, I knew he was the guy. The support that I received through the whole team at St. Clair, even down to the receptionist, everyone was on my side. It gave me the jump start that I needed to change my life. Larry Fannins and Moorhead is celebrating 69 years and we do business the old-fashioned way with a handshake and a promise. Larry has more than 350 vehicles in stock from budget busters and certified pre-owned to the newest offerings from GM. All of our new models include a lifetime powertrain warranty and our certified vehicles come with a 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. I'd love for everyone to stop by and see us at Larry Fannin Chevrolet Buick GMC in Moorhead. At Eagle Finance, our motto is simple, loans made easy, payments made affordable. We specialize in personal loans from $1,000 to $3,000. Do you need a loan for auto repair, vacations or other expenses? How about consolidating debt or paying off medical or dental bills? Eagle Finance is here to help. Stop by and see branch manager Bill McGee and his staff at Eagle Finance or visit us online at eagle.com. 
First National Bank welcomes you to visit our newest location at 200 Viking Drive, where you'll find the best customer service. Banker's Hours? What's that? Our full service bank is open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day, 9 to noon on Saturdays, and bank till 6 on Fridays. We're proud to be a part of this community and support Coach Preston Spradlin and the Moorhead State Eagles. Hi, I'm Kevin Anderson, Vice President and Branch Manager, asking you to come be part of a growing family at First National Bank. Time now for the Eagle All Access, sponsored by New Frontier Outfitters. We are made for your journey. Finish each possession. Check out, hold, snatch, and chase long rebounds. You do your job, guys. You do all this stuff, you'll make them take tough, contested twos, long rebounds, guards, mix it up, 50-50 balls, turn them into points on the other end, okay? Push it, let's hit ahead. We always advance the ball. I don't care who you are. If someone is ahead and you're changing sides in the middle, of the middle third of the floor and we are running wide outside those volleyball lines, advance the ball. Goals, 40%. We can hold this team to 40. Take pride in it. Have the mindset that we are going to hold this team to 40%, plus 20 on the boards tonight on both ends. Value it, share it, okay? 16 assists, let's take care of it, guys. No heroes plays. Make the simple play. Play with great discipline, worry about us, value our basketball, okay? Play with great discipline, guys, and the, what you've been through the past couple days, the changes you've made individually, the changes you've made as a team, all right? Committing to what we're doing, you deserve success. Now let's go out here and let's prove it. Here we go. Starts on the defensive end, talking, swarming, ball pressure, all right? Make the easy plays offensively, stay aggressive. Do what we do. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Family. Let's go, let's go. Rest in a special day at, uh, at Johnson Arena. Lots of elementary school students, more than 2,000. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Uh, like you said, I think we had 2,500 students there. We had almost 4,200 in attendance all around with our season ticket holders and everybody else coming out for an 11 o'clock game. So a lot of fun, very fitting, uh, finishing up finals week and rewarding our guys with a great crowd and, uh, and a win, but also rewarding the area schools with a, a good atmosphere to come to you know experience Division I college basketball right here in their region. And so. Uh, I was proud of our guys. We, I thought we did some good things. You know, some of the things that we've been working on throughout finals week that we talked about in the last show, some pressing and, and some defensive adjustments, some offensive adjustments, and I thought those carried over. I thought we did some good things, and uh, I thought we, uh, you know, we really, some of the things we talk about is our turnover margin. We limited our turnovers. You know, we have a goal that we want to have, you know, below 12 each game. We haven't met that at any point this year, but we did have only uh, 13 in this game, but we also had 13 assists, and so uh, we got the ball and we shot it a little bit better 8 of 26 from the three and we're a team that we probably need to take around 20 18 to 20 threes a game and 26 is a little much and then some of those numbers are are skewed a little bit based on what um, you know the, the way that we played there at the end getting some guys in and they, them hunting for shots but for the most part I thought we played well I thought uh, I thought Jordan Walker and AJ uh, AJ Hicks were both terrific pushing the ball uh, dictating the tempo of the game sharing the ball and getting us, getting us into our stuff and as you see there, the two guys we just talked about, great screening on the baseline, getting a guy open and a nice pass into his wheelhouse. And there you, there you, there you have it. That's why we do it. All the kids having a, a great time getting to come here and, uh, you know, Division One college basketball right here in their backyard. And so hopefully we just, we build that with them and they, they continue to come back and understand what a fun environment it is here to come and, and watch our team play. Uh, Lamontre there in the post, great post up, got great pace getting in there to two feet and finishing. Same thing with AJ, really like the, the in and out move and the pace he played with as well. Um, and here you go, Londell King uh, got the start and uh, very nice in the post right there. Good jump hook, good post position and, uh, and Jordan making that happen for him. That right there is a terrific play, that skip out of the post, the extra pass, back into the post, great spacing and cutting off of the ball, getting Davon Cooper who as we all know is a, a terrific young player, very good shooter for us, open for an easy shot. Same thing here, posting the ball, great post action, cutting uh, off the ball to occupy the help to allow Malik Green to have a one-on-one, -on -one, and uh, he, he's able to finish that. Really nice there, too. Uh, Malik is probably the one who made that play happen, ducking in, occupying his man where he couldn't help. Jordan, great pace on the baseline drive to a Londell King coming down the pipe. And uh, again, there's, uh, there's Lamontre, great pace in the post. The spacing, again, was terrific, and opening it up for, uh, for an open shooter in Davon Cooper. And again, uh, if it sounds familiar, it is. Right in a row, you know, he's three of three in the game, and right there, you get your confidence going, a guy goes under a ball screen, and you, you have the freedom in the way that we play to knock that down. 
down. And so really like that right there. I thought Jordan was a terrific passer during the game. Londell doing a really nice job of sealing his man off. Jordan four assists, one turnover, a block, and two steals to go with 14 points and five rebounds. I thought had a terrific night. And uh, so just, just excited for our guys. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's good that, you know, we have this long pr uh, stretch of practice where we're focused on each other and we're focused on ourselves and improving and getting better. But then when you get a chance to play in front of a nice crowd at home, is, is really nice. Love that play there by Trell Thompson. We've been working on him and Alonzo making those plays together. I thought Alonzo set a great screen and roll, did what he was supposed to do. These two, again, involved in great execution right here. Something we've been working on, a little flex action, good screening, and uh, making that play. And so, uh, and, and, and something here is always nice. Uh, we always appreciate when we play the Kentucky Christians and the Asburys that once we play those games that uh, after the game, their coach will typically lead us in a, in a post-game prayer. And so, uh, thankful to be a part of something like that and uh you know, it's, it, it, we're, we're very blessed to do what we do, we're, whether you're a student athlete, you're an official, you're a fan, or certainly as a basketball coach, to, uh, to do what you love each and every day and have the ability to do that. So we want to make sure we give thanks for that. And so thanks to our cheerleaders and dance team as well for being here over the break and, and supporting our guys. That means a lot to them, and it certainly helps with our atmosphere here in Johnson Arena. Stay with us when we come back. We turn our attention to the Eagle Profile segment. That's next on this Sunday edition of Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Hello, I'm Gary Markham with Tim Short Auto Group. I'd like to welcome you to our state-of-the-art facility on Kentucky 801, just off I-64. We have over 4,000 vehicles to choose from, offering new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Ford, all with a lifetime limit of powertrain warranty. For more than 20 years, Tim Short has been serving your friends and neighbors in the Kentucky area. We now invite you to take the short drive to satisfaction here in Moorhead, Kentucky. We are Tim Short Auto Group. Hi, I'm Brock Little, Vice President of Commercial Bank in West Liberty. For more than 100 years, we've prided ourselves in treating our customers like family. The technologies we offer afford you the ability to bank with us from anywhere. I'm Howard Elam, President of Commercial Bank. Thank you for trusting us with your banking needs. My name is Jack Rowe with Rowe Insurance Agency. We have been in the insurance business for over 50 years. We have a multitude of companies that can provide for you a comprehensive insurance plan at a reasonable price. We welcome your business and we will treat you like family here at the Rowe Insurance Agency. Holbrook's Embroidery Plus has been family owned and operated for nearly two decades. And we're proud to serve our friends and neighbors in Rowan and surrounding counties. We do embroidery, screen printing, vinyl, sublimation, Greek and corporate apparel, sports jerseys and so much more. We offer fast turnaround with top quality and customer service. We're conveniently located in downtown Moorhead. We're a community leader and proud supporter of local athletics. So come visit us and see what everyone's talking about at Holbrook's Embroidery Plus. Time now for Eagle Profile, sponsored by Stanford Builders Paving in West Liberty. Quality work at affordable prices. That's how we roll. Welcome back to Inside Moorhead State Basketball. This week's Eagle Profile is freshman guard from Louisville, Kentucky, Davon Cooper. And Davon, uh, first of all, just so excited to have you here. Uh, let, let our fans know that uh, Davon is a guy that I recruited for two years, uh, was really hot on the trail with him, followed him around, pestered him and his family and everybody because uh, I, I knew what a great player that he could be. And I'm, I'm very thankful that he decided to come here and be a part of our family. And so, Davon, talk to us a little bit about what made you choose Moorhead State State because you had a lot of great schools coming after you, a lot of uh, good good competition and, and things like that, places you could have gone to play. But what made you choose uh, Moorhead State? Uh, like you said, you uh, recruited me for two years. And when you started recruiting me, you was at every game. Every time I looked on the sideline, I saw you there. You called me every day. And I just trusted you, so I decided to come here. Well, we, we talk about that a lot, uh, the trust, that the, trusting the process and trusting each other. And so we talk about now Christmas break is really big for us to be able to do that because now it's a, it's a time that we just, we don't have any distractions. You know, finals are over with and we get to spend time together building that trust and really embracing that process. And so talk about being a freshman here, you know, making the jump from high school, very good high school player at Wagner High School in Louisville. And uh, what's, what's been the, the, the biggest adjustment for you from high school to college? For me, the biggest adjustment I would say is the defense and being in shape. You got to be in shape to play. 
and just trying to trust the process and try to fit in and do what the coaches ask. You know, you talk about uh, being in shape and, and those types of things, and so uh, you and I both know you've got a great support system at home with your family, with your mom, and you've got some other people as well, some coaches that uh, have a great investment in you, and they've, they've really been pushing you, making you be in shape, really helping you mold into the player that you are right now with your great skill set and uh, your, your feel for the game, which is, is surpassing most freshmen at this level. Talk about those people and what they mean to you. Well, my mom, she just tries to provide provide for me and then when it comes to basketball my trainers coach Dion coach Jonathan they put me in the position to be successful on the court and they help they help provide for me as well to help my mom out you know, we talk about being a family here all the time, so it's important that, you know, we want to talk about that here on the show. But, it, you know, through the recruiting process, those were people that I talked to almost every day. Davon's mom, Tammy, terrific lady, really cares about her son. Uh, nice that you're, you're nice and close to, uh, to Louisville so they can come and watch a lot of our games uh, here in, in Johnson Arena regionally when we play pretty close to home. And so uh, those people have a, have a great impact on you, and we're thankful for the job that they've done with you and uh, what we're going to get out of this guy is, is going to be really exciting going forward and so uh, Davon Cooper freshman Wagner High School in Louisville Kentucky and uh, another ho homegrown product for us here at Moorhead that we're going to enjoy seeing play and compete and uh, help us hang banners one day uh, for a long time. Thanks so much and we'll be right back with Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware is celebrating our 40th anniversary as a locally owned and operated family business in Moorhead. We would like to thank our valued customers for your loyalty and trust. We pledge to continue supplying the best quality service by our hometown employees. Big Four Lumber is a staple of the Moorhead Round County community. We take pride in giving back and invite you to join us for our many customer appreciation events throughout the year. That's Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, 1470 Flemingsburg Road in Moorhead. Who knows where life will take you? I'm Sherry and I call Kentucky Bank Home. Where will you be in five years? Will you be in a new home, starting a family, or retiring? I'm Connie and I call Kentucky Bank Home. I look forward to helping you with your home loan. Kentucky Bank wants to help you be ready for life's biggest moments. My name's Gabe and I call Kentucky Bank Home. In life's biggest moments, your first call is home. We look forward to talking to you soon. Puss Wally's is proud to be Moorhead's oldest restaurant with more than 60 years in business. Enjoy our popular cheesy fries, pizza, and unique sandwiches, plus our newest feature, the Chow Now app for your mobile devices, allowing you to order and pay online for easy pickup. And next door is the Bakery on Main, where you'll find the tastiest treats in town. Stop by for breakfast or lunch. That's Pasquale's and Bakery on Main, 178 and 182 East Main Street in Moorhead. This segment of Inside Moorhead State Basketball is sponsored by Richard White Wood Products, a premier exporter of Kentucky hardwoods worldwide. Welcome back in to Inside Moorhead State Basketball here on the CW Lexington alongside Coach Spradlin. I'm David Patrick. Good to have you with us on this Sunday afternoon. And Coach, one of the things that's been emphasized, the, the marketing campaign, if you will, over the, the last few months is one town, one team. And it's so fitting for Moorhead. It's such a small community. Fans here, the, the community loves the basketball program. And there, there's a lunch or a breakfast, depending on the day or the time of day, that the coaches, you and Coach Todd, are involved with, uh, with some diehard Eagle fans, season ticket holders. 
Let's talk about that and how important it is to, to keep those fans and those community members involved in your program. Well, it, it's a testament to something we talk about here all the time sure. is that, you know, we can be really transparent here at Moorhead and, and we, you can get that intimate feel. You can be a part of our family, a part of our university and our program here that most places don't allow you to sure. be able to do because of the size and the proximity that we have. And so the One Town, One Team really embraces that. I give Brad Smith, our marketing director, credit for that. You see it all over our town, all over our campus. Campus. And so people are really embracing that. And we want to make sure that, that we commend them on it. And so the coaches' luncheon or, or breakfast, whichever one it may be, depending on the time of day, is something that's been going on for a long time with uh, the men's and women's coaches that have been here. And it's a, it's a group of really dedicated fans, uh, some of which are, are former employees and professors here at the, uh, the university. And so there you see Dr. Scott. I would say he is the, uh, the brains behind the operation. He, he certainly gathers everyone. He has a large email base that he sends out to everyone. And he invites all the coaches and uh, and their fans to come in. There you see Coach Todd is speaking to some of the fans. He's certainly got a lot to be happy with right now. His team's won five in a row. He's doing a terrific job with his staff, and so uh, it's a lot of fun. I mean, we have a great educated fan base here. That they're very passionate. They care about our basketball teams. They love the sport. They know our kids. They care about them. And so any time that we get an opportunity to to get face to face with them and answer some questions that the otherwise the media and the normal uh, everyday fan wouldn't get a chance to see. We want to make sure that we do that because we have, again, that, that special opportunity here at Moorhead to do, to do just that. And so uh, you can see everyone also goes by uh, Pasquale's, Bakery on Main. Those are uh, sponsors of our show here that we're thankful for, and they have terrific food that we can go and enjoy and, and, and get to, to learn some basketball. And so it's always a lot of fun. I enjoy the questions that I get, uh, many of which are very good basketball questions. They want to know, Coach, why are you playing this guy or why are you playing in this type of defense or why do you do this or give us our reasoning and and so we talk about that kind of stuff and uh, I just think that's fun that's what makes it, it really nice here and it, it, it always makes me feel good everybody says hey every time you come to the the coaches lunch and we learn something new about basketball and I said that's great you know because you guys have good questions and uh, uh, someone asked the question about the Kentucky Christian game about the pressing they said they really enjoyed that and I said yeah, you know it's something that we've been working on doing and uh, with with 10 new players you can't throw everything in at the beginning of the season so you take advantage of a finals week and a long two week stretch and uh, just a testament to our fan base they really they recognize that stuff and they notice it and uh, it, that's a lot of fun. The thing I love about this and, and Preston talked about educated fans these are not softball questions I mean the, these are tough questions I mean they want to know why so and so is not playing why are you playing this defense why are you you know man to man more than zone these are educated questions and, and they kind of put you on the hot spot sometimes, which is great. It's great because that's what makes this place Absolutely. special. People truly care. They know their basketball. They know what they want to see. They want to see a winning product. They want to see kids come here uh, who represent the university, who represent their interest and their history they have with the university. And they want to see kids compete and play hard. And so when we, they do get to see those things, then they certainly uh, they, they, uh, they have the right to ask any kind of type of question that they'd like. And again, I embrace it. It's fun. It's, it's part of doing it and it's it's certainly a role that I'm uh, I'm excited to take on as head coach here. Stay with us when we come back. We'll close things out on this Sunday edition of Inside Morehead State Basketball. No matter where you are in life, we're all looking for something better. We dream of something more. That's why we created Better Life Church. For the searching, for the wondering, Jesus has a better life for you. Eagle Trace Golf Course is one of Kentucky's finest, nestled in the beautiful Daniel Boone National Forest in Moorhead. The unique and challenging course offers year-round play and is open to the public. We have a large practice range, a clubhouse with a fully merchandised pro shop, and a covered pavilion perfect for great outings. We're proud to be the home course of the Moorhead State University men's and women's golf teams. I'm Bill Redwine, and I invite you to join us at Eagle Trace Golf Course or visit us online at moreheadstate.edu slash eagletrace. There's no better way to spend the day than with lunch or dinner at Reno's Roadhouse in Moorhead. 
Enjoy our delicious steak, chicken and ribs, along with trademark honey butter rolls, the best bucket of peanuts in town, and hometown hospitality. Hi, I'm Tim Kogenhofer, and I promise to provide 100% guest satisfaction here in Reno's Roadhouse in Moorhead. Go wild! Go west! Go Reno's! At the Citizens Bank, we have totally free checking with a free gift. When you combine totally free checking with the best people and the best service, do you know what you get? The best bank. Being the best bank makes it easy for our customers to refer their friends and family to come and bank with the best too. Every referral gets another free gift. So come bank with the best. The Citizens Bank, home of totally free checking and a free gift. Member FDIC. This segment of Inside Moorhead State Basketball is sponsored by Fazoli's. Fast, fresh, Italian. Welcome back to Inside Moorhead State Basketball here on the CW Lexington and Preston. We're about a half hour from tip of the Moorhead State Central Arkansas game here at Johnson Arena. If you're at home watching this show on TV, get out of your seat, get into your car, and get down to the arena. We need your help to get a big win. Absolutely. Um, you know, we only had four non-conference home games this yes. semester, so this is, uh, this is the last one. It's your last opportunity to see our team here in, in Johnson Arena before, uh, before the Christmas break. Obviously, a really good Central Arkansas team that we played them at their place a few weeks ago. Uh, Four-point loss, and since then, they've been playing extremely well. And so we're going to need all the help we can get. We need everyone to be in here to be excited, ready to go cheering our team on and bring home a victory here to Johnson Arena before Christmas. Tip time, 2 o'clock, LST Johnson Arena, Moorhead State hosting Central Arkansas. Thanks so much for watching this week and on behalf of the Eagle basketball coach, I'm David Patrick and we will see you next Sunday afternoon right here on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Inside Moorhead State Basketball has been brought to you by Fazoli's of Moorhead, fast, fresh Italian. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. St. Clair Regional Medical Center, amazing medicine close to home. Larry Fannin, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC, doing business with a handshake and a promise. Kentucky Bank, call it home. Eagle Finance, loans made easy, payments made affordable. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, the helpful place. The Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking. Reno's Roadhouse, go wild, go west, go Reno's. Moorhead Tourism Commission, escape the normal. Eagle Trace Golf Course, the home course of the MSU Eagles. First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience. Holbrook's Embroidery, your clearly Kentucky headquarters. Better Life Church, helping people follow Jesus. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength in our community. Tim Short Auto Group, take the short drive to satisfaction. Jack Rowe Insurance, serving all your insurance needs. Pasquale's and Bakery on Main, treat yourself well. Richard White Wood Products, a premier exporter of Kentucky hardwoods worldwide. Standard for Builders Paving in West Liberty. Quality work at affordable prices. That's how we roll. And by New Frontier Outfitters, we are made for your journey.